Prince William had told a well-wisher in the last week that Prince George had understood that William's grandmother had died, that's George's great-grandmother, but his younger siblings, Charlotte and Louis, less so. Now it's been confirmed at the 11th hour that Prince George and Princess Charlotte will walk from Westminster Hall to Westminster Abbey. The Order of Service uh, booklet released earlier this morning, London time, prompts the question, how much trouble lies ahead with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Harry has completed a memoir, which allegedly casts a long shadow over the royal family and fears that it will be used to settle scores. It's published by Penguin Random House, was originally scheduled for release in quote unquote late 2022, and was expected to appear around Thanksgiving in time to cash in on the Christmas market. Of course, in the rather grubby money for everything world that Harry and Miss Markle seem to inhabit these days, there is big money in this memoir. But the death of Queen Elizabeth has thrown the publication and publicity plans into turmoil. So there is talk that the memoir may not be published until next year. The manuscript has been ghost written by an American and it's supposed to be already finished. Given the death of the Queen, there's talk that the book will probably have to be updated and additional chapters written. No members of the royal family, their aides or lawyers have had sight of the book in any form. Neither have they been informed of when it's due to be published. The bad blood between the new brothers is such that apparently Harry didn't even tell William he was coming to Britain for a series of charity engagements. William and Kate allegedly found out via media reports. Through all the ceremonies of the last week, except the vigil, Prince Harry has not been permitted to wear military uniform because he was not a working royal. That has further con- been further confirmed with the release of the Order of Service booklet today or this morning, where amongst royalty walking behind the Queen's coffin from Westminster Hall to Westminster Abbey, Harry and Meghan are well down the list. Nonetheless, it's thought that the late Queen and the royal household wanted Prince George to be seen in such a globally televised event because he is seen as the future of the monarchy and being seen with King Charles and William helps in the nation's acceptance of him as a future king. There'll no doubt be historic pictures to record his presence, but it's not likely that Prince Harry will be the only one not sure about to whom he should speak amongst this gathering of thousands. The former King and Queen of Spain, Juan Carlos and Sofia have been invited. He's 84, she's 83, but they are estranged. He spends most of his time in self-imposed exile in Abu Dhabi. He abdicated in 2014 and a string of financial and personal scandals continue to hang over him. The invitation hasn't been kindly received in Spain. It'll be interesting to see what kind of reception they get because the present Spanish monarch is King Philippe, the son of Juan Carlos. But it's said that he and his queen Letitia will be making sure they are not seen at all costs with the father, Juan Carlos. And a lovely story about the young 21 year old from the back blocks of Fiji, who'd moved to Inverness in Northeast Scotland to serve in the armed forces. He found himself selected by his superiors to be a pallbearer to assist in the lifting of the Queen's coffin out of the hearse in Edinburgh last Sunday and walking it slowly through the doors of Holyrood House Palace. The Fijians are so deferential. And the 21-year-old Ben Tabuna said, quote, to be chosen to carry Her Majesty's casket is an honour and I feel humbled to be bestowed with such a unique opportunity, unquote. Humility is one of the legacies the late Queen leaves with us, amongst many others like service and duty. It'd be no bad thing if we all picked up that baton.